we come into this season as a world champion and our title defence starts here in Bahrain and it's lights out and away we go. We haven't got the best of starts. Lewis Howitz is alongside. Fernando Alonso is on the inside as well. We're nearly free wide. Fernando Alonso down the inside into turn one. We've lost out to Lewis Hamilton who's taken the lead. Alonso's now P2. We've dropped all the way down to P3. But down the inside into the final corner. Large draw looks to have got us, but we're going to try and do the up and under, get the exit. We've got a great exit compared to the Aston Martin, but we're going to tuck back into the slipstream. Go to the outside and side by side, we go in and get past Stroll, but the double slipstream for George Russell gets him, gets him past both of us. We stay ahead of Stroll. Stroll's lost two places, we haven't gone anywhere, and George Russell's pulled off an absolute mega move there to do both of us we're going to fade to the inside George covers it and we're going to go sailing from the outside and that's twice Fernando Alonso is going to win the opening race of the season George Russell comes home for P2 back to back P2's in a row for in Bahrain Lewis Hamilton will make up the final step of the podium but who is going to finish P4 as me and Large side by side coming out of the final corner we stay ahead of Large Stroll and finish P4 Aston Martin lead the constructors from Mercedes from us in P3 there's now George on right on the back of us as we head up towards the final corner. Once again, George goes to the inside, inside, outside. What's he feeling? He has to stay behind. But we run a bit wide. George gets the exit now as we cover off the inside line once again. Verstappen now is caught at the back. Verstappen trying to go to the outside. George is on our inside. We're sandwiched in the middle. We have to give leave space to both of them. We turn in. George is close from when ripped off as he goes for a gap that never existed. And our battle with George, like it did in Japan last season, ends with contact. And we are going to win our first race of the season. And our first race as a world champion. Alonso now leads the championship by six points over us. And then it's Hamilton and George and Michael Schumacher there as well. Aston Martin lead the constructors from SP2. And then the reigning constructors world champions Mercedes are P3. And it lights out and everyone crawls off the line as we try and find some grip. Lando Norris over P2. He's had an absolute stinker of a start. He's going backwards. Oh, on now P2. We're sideways out of turn one as we try and find the grip on the exit of turn two. Oh, on now further back. We got away and we're still in the lead. Now it all went wrong here last season at turn three and it nearly has again as Oh, on has to lift to avoid going into the side of us and it's nearly happened again one corner later. Now this is Joe into turn three and he's looped it round and spun round and now everyone behind is just stopped in the track and that has brought out the safety car and in turns has also brought out a red flag as well. This is us though, we were keeping the gap to around four seconds between us and Schumacher and we've made a mistake, we spun the car around, we try and find some grip to get back onto the track and Michael Schumacher's hit us so with Carlos Sainz Schumacher's out Sainz is out we've dropped backwards we've got a penalty and that's going to be our second red flag of the day George Russell kept his nose clean whilst everything was so dramatic around him and he's going to make it back to back wins in Australia. Can we get the exit or can Piastri pick up another point? We get the exit. We're going to finish P9. George Russell now leads the Drivers World Championship ahead of Fernando Alonso and then it's us, Hamilton and Lando Norris and Mercedes still lead that. Aston Martin have now jumped us to P2. We're now down to P3. But down the inside we go. We We've locked up there, we've nearly lost the back end. Sainz is in a chance, we're now side by side through the S section. Neither of us giving up. This is unbelievable racing. Through the S section, we've tried to hold around the outside. Sainz takes the position off of us. Now Piastri's trying to go round on the outside. 
into the corner though, we've dropped it, we've lost the back end, we've gone across the track, we've gone into the side of the Piastri and sent Piastri flying through the air and we're both out of the race, that is a huge, huge high speed crash and that's our race done. Lewis Hamilton now leads by two points over George Russell, then it's nine points back to Fernando Alonso. We've dropped down to P4 and now 25 points off the top. It could be worse as long as that gap doesn't continue to get bigger, I'm happy. So in terms of the constructors, Mercedes still lead. We're still behind Aston Martin but we have closed the gap with that podium for Schumacher. And but at the end of lap 17, we are going to box for our one and only stop of the day. Hopefully, at least, if everything goes all right. Draws that into the pits, onto the mediums. We are doing the same strategy. Into the pits, now we go. But, we've had a slow stop on the rear left. It's slow in the rear left. Free goes George, free goes Lando. And we've dropped from the lead to P3. So, if we want to win this race, we're now going to have to get creative. George is starting to pull away. We're on the back of Lando, but not for long, because down the inside, lap 21... We're past our fellow Brit, and now we can get after our championship rival of last season. So just three laps later, we've caught the back of George. Lap 24 as we go through the tunnel and head down towards the Nobel chicane. Into the chicane now, we've gone a bit deep, but we've got the exit, we've gone alongside. As we head towards the back, we're going down the inside of the back. We nearly put George into the barrier, but we have done our classic Monaco move and retake the lead of the Monaco Grand Prix, but we've gone deeper, Raskas, and now George tried to get back on the inside of us, and we are going to make it back-to-back -back wins in Monaco. We win the Monaco Grand Prix, George comes home for P2, Lando P3, this is the championship now, we're still P3, George now leads, um, 4 points ahead of Hamilton and we are 10 points back on Lewis Hamilton, we're now still second in the constructors, I think we've actually jumped Aston Martin now, so that's good to see as well, now we on to lap 2 and we've gone wide within the soft cup, We've spun all the way around 360, going through the gravel, trying to lighten the tyres to get going again. We've lost so many positions, we're down to P8 after one very, very costly mistake. But onto the final corner then, George Russell, we handed the lead to him on a plate and he never looked back and he's won the Spanish Grand Prix. It's a Mercedes 1-2, Land Piastri comes home for P3, behind Alonso and we're going to come home just about for P8. George now has an 11 point lead in the championship, we are now 35 points behind, 6 races in, it's looking tough if we want to keep this title, keep the number 1 on our car, Mercedes still on top and now have a big lead, 96 points back to us, we stay ahead of Aston Martin as well. Going into the final sector now, we've got a little bit wide, Charles Leclerc has a go to the inside of us, we squeeze him right to the inside, we chop him off, Leclerc goes straight on, last stroke turns into the side of him, George finds a way through, and they part ways, three into one, does not go, and it didn't then, Leclerc and Lance Stroll making contact, Stroll now going back at George Russell, he re-overtook Leclerc, drama of the air been on the opening lap, we've pulled a nice gap now because of that, and George has gained two places, and it's now Stroll trying to go down the inside into turn one, back on George Russell, now has the outside line, can't get the exit on the Mercedes. We, the gap is staying around 3 to 4 seconds as we win the Canadian Grand Prix. George comes home for P2. So then the championship is heating up. So we've actually jumped Lewis Hamilton now after him scoring no points into P2. We now have 96 points, Hamilton 94. George now has 123 points, but the gap between us and him has dropped to 27 points. In terms of the constructors, Mercedes now have 218 points. And us after our win, fastest lap 
And P4 for Schumacher means we have 141 points and the gap now is 77 points in the championship. Now onto the hangar straight for the 10th time, time. Schumacher's got a good exit. We can swing the right team inside. Schumacher's hit us. Schumacher's hit us. And Schumacher is gone across in the middle of the track. Lando's out. Piastri's out. Leclerc's out. And it's a big, big, big crash on the hangar straight. Schumacher's out as well. We've somehow kept going. Now lap 19. This is Max, as we run a bit wide to take our racing line. Max is at the inside. Max has tapped us round and now he's driving into the side of us. He's spun us round on the field. We spin back round, but we've lost a heap of places. Lots of places we get going again. So in terms of the championship then after we closed the gap with the win last time out in Canada it's opened out once more to George and Hamilton we got now 41 points Schumacher all the way down there Mercedes pull a big one then on us with their 1-2 that's only picking up 2 points the Belgium Grand Prix where we have some big news from the paddock we start with Lamborghini and the reigning world champion has now got a new teammate as Michael Schumacher has decided to terminate his contract with Lamborghini due to poor progression in the car. Lamborghini have managed to sign Oscar Piastri from McLaren after breakaway clause in his contract allowed him to leave. It's down the inside into the bus stop chicane. Drop down we go deep though we go deep sides on the outside. We force him wide. It's a drag race to the line and we just get past. And this is Lewis Hamilton from a net P2 and hunting us down. He's not doing that anymore because he's pulling off to retire from the Belgian Grand Prix. As this is George Russell, the other Mercedes is slowing down and out of the Grand Prix. A double DNF for Mercedes. The track is bone dry compared to the start of the lap and we are going to pit for the mediums. We've learned from our mistakes from back in Australia where we went to the softs and had no pace for going mediums but the gap between us and Ocon has been cut down drastically now we've lost five seconds on that lap but we're gonna round the final corner we're gonna be back to winning ways we win the Belgium Grand Prix a double DNF for Mercedes as well after their 1-2 last time out in Silverstone in terms of the championship then George keeps his 149 points we then now cut the gap down to 17 points with 132 points as getting maximum points this weekend we therefore jump Hamilton who's on 112 points and 37 back from George Russell his team in terms of the constructors, Mercedes have a 261 point, we have 178 points, so the gap now we cut down to 83. And as the five red lights come on ahead of the Italian Grand Prix, and we're racing here in Monza, and we've got a great start already up into P3, P2, and side by side with Max Verstappen to take the lead before we even get to turn one into turn one though we've locked up we've gone wide we've gone into the side of Max Verstappen we've gone through the gravel Max has gone through the gravel Charles Leclerc leads in his Ferrari from Gasly from George Russell Max Verstappen from from pole all the way to stone dead last because of us and now we're getting closer and closer and closer to Lando Norris but we've got gearbox issues, says Mark, but apparently that's terminal. We've retired the gearbox issue, despite Mark saying it was minor, it's turned out to be much bigger as we pull over and out of the Italian Grand Prix. And that's one thing we didn't need to happen. Surely we could continue, but we couldn't, and we're out. 41 points is a big gap to overturn so there is still seven races to go Lewis Hamilton now he was pulling away from us or he was pulling away from us from us because now he's pulling off and out of the Grand Prix because that Mercedes engine has gone bang going on to the final lap though George Russell is 
winning once again. He wins in Singapore. Oscar Piastri doing what I expect a teammate to do. His best results since he joined the team. P2 for him and us some 30 seconds behind our teammates are going to get the final step on the podium. We pulled away from Alonso in the end in terms of the championship and it's a very, very, very big gap for us to overhaul now. 52 points and not that many races to go. The constructors then we have gained a small amount on Mercedes with our double podium and only one Mercedes finishing the race. A Mercedes winning means it wasn't that big of a dent in their championship lead. 101 points now. Let's go then to the Qatar sprint. We need some points and we are racing here in the Qatar Spring, we've got a good start, so is Oscar Piastri, we're on the grass, but most importantly, we're in the lead as we go side by side with our teammate through the first corner, now into the second corner, Piastri trying to keep around the outside of us, but, if we run a little bit wide, but the wheel in the gravel, and Piastri now tries to go back up our inside, we really need the points, we've got the start we dreamt of so as we skip on towards the end of that three now through the final couple of corners Piastri has the line once again and he's going down the inside of the final corner we try and cut it back and Lewis Hamilton had a look up the inside we've tagged the Mercedes he's gone into the side of us but somehow it's still P2 this time they were a bit too far back from Oscar Piastri as the red bull of Max Verstappen has found his way past both Mercedes but on to the end of lap 10 Oscar Piastri rounds the final corner he did it in real life he wins the Qatar sprint race and we're racing in Qatar we've got another excellent start while we're in the sprint we're back into the lead we've jumped Piastri into turn 1 and now this lap 4 Piastri's coming out, so again this time he's in the lead, Max now all over the back of us trying to find a way fast, we try and go to the outside of Piastri, Piastri though this time has us covered and is into the lead of the Grand Prix and also pulled away, you can see the gap at the end of the lap over a second and now Max is on the inside and we make contact with Verstappen and open the floodgates for Lewis Hamilton to just cruise through both of us run wide Lewis Hamilton is thanking very much and is now up into P2 and there's nothing more we can do about that we're so far back Leclerc and Matt gets past us we nearly made contact with George not once but twice as we're all over the place to try and keep those behind we nearly go into the side of George Russell twice there we somehow we have the Ferrari he's had a little wobble and now might come under pressure but no such issues for this man he won the sprint and he's going to round the final corner and Oscar Piastri in one of his first races for the team is going to win the Grand Prix but he's backing off and Lewis Hamilton nearly beats him to the line but he does win from Hamilton Fernando Alonso takes the final spot on the podium and, uh, and with some very very bruised elbows we come home for P4 in terms of the championship then the gap now 47 points we've cut the gap down by five over this weekend it's still a big mountain to climb with four races to go this is the constructors then the one two in the sprint and the win for piastri means that the gap isn't as big as close a small amount on the mercedes but here we go then we're racing in mexico and we're straight into the tire traps of Carlos Sainz Ball to the outside, he's on the mediums Lewis Hamilton gets a double toe He's passed us up into P2 And now he may be getting into P1 We make contact Contact with Sainz, contact with Hamilton As we squeeze our way through the middle Max Verstappen has found a way past Hamilton We somehow find a way to take the lead 
of the Mexican Grand Prix is a result he desperately needed if he wanted to get back into the championship hunt with just now three races and a sprint to go we round the final corner to win a tricky Mexican Grand Prix so this is the championship now we have taken a big chunk out of George Russell's lead 31 points now the gap it was 52 coming into this one George finishing P6 us winning has very much helped us out it's still a big margin to overturn though 31 points there's still three races to go this season this is the constructors then we gained some points on Mercedes today it was poor for Lewis Hamilton as well so this is it then the Brazil sprint five red lights Come on, they go out and they're racing in Brazil for the sprint. We haven't got the best of starts, but George Russell has. It's down into the turn one. George Russell has the inside line, and George Russell takes the lead off of us. We're down into P2. We desperately need to beat our championship arrival as we attempt to claw back some points in the Drivers' Championship. So we're going to send the dive bomb back down the inside at turn four to retake the lead and by the end of lap two on to lap three there's smoke in the background we were pulling away whose engine's popped it's george russell's engine that has popped and that is some very very good news for us as george russell pulls off and out now this is Piastri behind, going way to where we've got one as he lost out to him at the start. Side by side, Piastri tries to go round the outside. It's about off a light up the rear tyres and spins round the turn one. And it's brought out the red flag. We pulled away from our teammates and we are going to win the sprint. As we head towards turn 1 and towards lap 21 of the race, we're going to go to the outside of Lando Norris. We're trying to go round the outside of turn 1. Lando's forcing us a long way round. We take the lead off the Grand Prix, but that's put us off line. Now heading down into turn 4, Lando has got the chance to get past us again. And he retakes the lead of the Grand Prix. Down into turn 4, he locks up. He locks up his tyre and he hands us the lead. This is Fernando Alonso and his engine has popped. Fernando Alonso's engine has popped on the pit straight and he's been hit. He's been hit by Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton's hit the back of Max Verstappen now as well. That is a big crash on the main straight. He's brought out the safety car in the process. And we on lap 36 on a very, very wet track. It's going to head, sure to head the drivers up to towards the line to make it back to back wins in Brazil. This is the Drivers' Championship then and we have taken the lead of the Drivers' World Championships by one single point. The gap also in the constructors has been massively cut down after the Mercedes only picking up two points. Four points the gap now. We're racing in Portugal and it's a good start from the freeze. We've also got a great start from the pull to the inside. We passed the Williams and passed both Williams but Pass many cards into the first corner. We've gone down the inside of our teammate. The two Alpines have made contact. We've nearly made contact with the other Alpine. Going into turn two. We're up into P11. Nine cars into one corner. As we're going to send it late. Down the inside of George Russell. And in four laps time. We see our championship rival in our mirrors. And we're getting... A very nice run now on Lewis Hamilton as we're getting closer and closer with the RS over in the overtake button deploying all the time. Down the inside, we're swapping the dummy, go round the outside and into the lead of the Portuguese Grand Prix after starting stone dead last in this Grand Prix. It's going to be a hat trick of wins in a row and what an important win that could be. So in terms of the championship then we will get a title decider under the lights 
of Abu Dhabi, 17 points the gap between us and George Russell and not only will it be a title decider in the drivers championship it will also be a title decider in terms of the constructors championship as now the gap between us and Mercedes is just five points but this is it then 29 laps to decide the title the gap 17 points and we're racing in the desert and we've got a good start but so has George he's already linked us Lando's gone backwards and George really squeezes us into the pit wall there but it's a Mercedes 1-2 here comes George again he's got a better run this time he's passed to his teammate before he even gets to the chicane but Hamilton's gonna break later side by side they go through the chicane who gets the exit now George finally gets the job done Hamilton has got the better exit to go to the inside and retake the lead of the Grand Prix. George now tries to keep it pinned down the inside. Round the outside, Lewis Hamilton goes, keeps his teammate behind. What are Mercedes doing here? I mean, I know you can't deny Lewis Hamilton a victory, but in these circumstances, he has to that time though, it looks much easier for George Russell. The two Mercedes have already gone through turn one. As we enter our group box we've lost a lot of time but going on to the softs. Hopefully we can gain this back through go the two McLarens and our teammates. And also further back signs at Valtteri Bottas which puts us down into P9 and with George Russell leading the race George Russell's currently the 2025 world champion. It's game on now to get back to P5. And now we're on the back of our teammate. This is for P5 and for the championship, surely. To the outside, we go on Piash, we, we make him go defensive. We're then cutting back again. And now it's just about the exit. This move. If there was team orders, we should get him out of the way, but we don't need to do that. We pull to the outside. We're side by side now into the into the bank corner, round the outside, and that P5 puts us back into the championship winning position. But at the front, George Russell has done everything he needed to do. He rounds the final corner to win. The Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, Hamilton P2 means Mercedes are constructors world champions. Max Verstappen on the podium, but SP4 means we are two times champions of the world. We win the world championship by five points in the end. This is how the constructors finishes then. That 1 2 4 Mercedes means they are constructors world champions by 25 points. We are now a two-time champion of the world. What a season that was. See you next year.